Hey, so what's going on guys? Back here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of a Pitaka product which I have right here. So, I've never actually reviewed or seen a Pitaka product in person. So, this will be my very first time. That's the reason I'm really, really pumped for this video because I can't wait to actually check it out and install it on my iPhone 12 Pro. So, in this video, Pitaka Official Store Malaysia has actually partnered with me to give you guys a discount on any Pitaka products because it's sort of their grand opening. They just came to Malaysia and started an official store on Shopee. So if you guys do want to grab that discount voucher, do stick around and watch till the end of the video because I'll be sharing with you some tips on how to get the voucher from Shopee. All right, so before we begin the unboxing, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing and first impressions of the Pitaka Air case for the iPhone 12 Pro. Right guys, so in front we have my iPhone 12 Pro with the official Apple clear case. And I'll be showing you what happened to this case in a moment. And I also have the Pitaka Air case. So definitely we'll be going through the packaging in a bit. But let me just show you what happened to my Apple clear case. And I think this is one of the worst cases to ever buy. Uh, in my opinion button feel mushy the case built overall creaks and feels like a cheap case it's not even worth the 219 ringgit but of course i did buy this second hand and it was flawless but after using it for a couple of days cracks were like everywhere let me give you a closer look and see there are like cracks on the corners and bear in mind i didn't even drop it on the floor because i'm pretty careful with my devices there's cracks on the bottom as well overall i cannot recommend the apple clear case but uh, let's focus on the Pitaka air case which I'm really really pumped because I personally have never had a Pitaka case on the channel and of course I did do another review of the Banks Aramid fiber case but uh yeah that is a different thing altogether I'll leave in the iCard above if you're interested in that that is a much cheaper option this costs 290 ringgit that costs a mere 70 to 80 ringgit so there's a very big difference of course you're going to expect this to have better quality but We'll be the judge of that. All right, let's get into the packaging. Pitaka Air Case. I love the Air Case over the Easy Mac. And now with the MagSafe technology, we do not need the Mac Easy Case or the Mac Easy Mounts or whatsoever. Unless you're already in the ecosystem, yes, you can get the Mac Easy Case. But considering for me, I have a lot of MagSafe accessories, I prefer to go with the Air Case because this supports MagSafe. And I'll be showing you that in just a moment. All right, so let's go through the basic features. Pitaka Air Case for iPhone 12 Pro. You can see the thinnest and lightest case made with genuine aramid fiber. And of course, you do expect it to be made with the genuine materials because of the price. For the 6.1 inch iPhone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro or the iPhone 12, either one. Of course, they wrote the iPhone 12 Pro, but it also fits with the iPhone 12. I'm sure you know that already. Okay, so let's take a look at the features made with genuine aramid fiber, silky and soft touch. You can see it's only a mere 0.65 mm which is awesome because it's super thin and super light you can get to feel your device still even though there is a case on you can see right here 8 gram only on this case so 8 grams is very very negligible and right here you can see luxury selective material basically aramid fiber which is basically a bulletproof material which they use on bulletproof vest. On the bottom, you can see Pitaka branding as well. All right, let's take a look at the back. Extra protective, so there is a lip on the case. So to protect the camera lenses, you can see easy access to all buttons, which is something I could not say for the Banks Aramid Fiber case because it was, the buttons were pre pretty hard to get to because of the way it was cut out. You can see thin and light and made with genuine Aramid Fiber. So yes, this case, Definitely slightly lesser protection, but um, better ease of use. All right, let's slide the top portion out, the sleeve. And then you're greeted with this alternative tech life and a very nice matte black box. On the back, you can see what is Pitaka. You can pause there and read it for yourself, but we're not going to do that right now. Right, so very nice magnetic lid. All right, so right here, we have the case itself. Super duper good presentation. Very nice presentation. Very premium presentation in fact and you get the removal instruction how to remove it if you're using a samsung or apple device of course this is an apple device but this is a general packaging i guess 
All right, guys. So right here we have the case, super thin and lightweight. You can see Pitaka branding on inside, but we'll get back to this case in a moment. Let's see what else comes in the packaging. All right, so a range of the accessories. They have AirPods case, they have Apple Watch cases, they have Apple Watch bands. So you can see their catalog right here. And what else do we get? Oh, it's pretty much stuck there. Right here, we get a thank you card. So thank you for your order. Okay, that's about it. All right, let's get to the start of the show, which is the case itself. All right, so from the first feel of it, I'm really loving how thin it is. I never expected it to be this thin, but it feels like the Banks thin case, the super thin one, the blue one, which I reviewed. And uh, honestly, that was a lot more flimsy than this. But of course, considering the price, that uh, this is uh, a lot more hefty. All right, let's take a look. There's some um, serial number there, I guess. And then you get the Pitaka logo. You can see this very nice weave here. Pitaka logo, very subtle, nothing fancy, no big Pitaka branding on the outside. You can see the raised camera bum right here which is definitely going to protect your device when you put it on the table like this so definitely your cameras are protected all right let me get this crappy clear case out of the way so let's uh snap it on so i think we should go in power button side first for this round because there's more material on that side and then we will snap it all in nice and simple let me turn off my flashlight. Wow. Okay. I'm really loving how this feels. Feels absolutely premium. Take a look at that camera bum. And how it protects. Of course, I do have a lens protector right there. This will definitely be my daily case from now on. You can see the cutouts right here. Super nice, clean cutout very thin you can see right here the top is exposed the bottom is exposed the buttons are exposed so basically you're just touching the naked iphone better to have big cutouts rather than have non-tactile buttons i would take a big cutout like this any day of course if you're looking for drop protection definitely this is not the video for you and uh, honestly for me i take care of my devices so i can rock this every day the cutouts are very well done uh, no sharp edges except for the top slightly sharp Oh yeah, talking about the top, there is some sort of like raised corners, I should say, right here. On the corners right here. And on the bottom, so if you do lay face down, it's going to be touching the case and not the screen. Of course, I do have a screen protector and I do recommend a full tempered glass screen protector which works with this device. You can see right here, I have a full coverage tempered glass screen protector. At the price of 290 ringgit, I think, yes, it's a very, very hefty sum to be paying for such a theme case um, but only for those people who know how to appreciate minimalism as well as good quality materials you would definitely pick this over many other plastic cases like this crap right here 219 ringgit versus 290 ringgit i would pick this any day pay them 80 ringgit or so extra and get a better quality case yeah, you're losing out on MagSafe, but this works with MagSafe chargers because of how thin it is. Let me grab my MagSafe charger and see whether MagSafe works on this device. Yes, you can see MagSafe works and it works really well. I expected the magnetic force to be slightly less. But in fact, it feels like I'm actually attaching it to the phone itself. A non-MagSafe case giving you the functionality of MagSafe. So you can see right here, no problems. Let me show you right here, holding the phone by the charger. Of course, yes, if I shake it too violently, yes, it will definitely drop. It is not 100%, it's around like 80 to 90% of the strength. Of course, there's a gap right here, so do expect it to be not as strong as a, a official MagSafe case, that's for sure. All right, so before we conclude this video, would I recommend it and my thoughts about it for a first time, First time holding the case, first time actually testing out and uh, looking at the fit and finish of this case. I think this case is definitely a major goal. And if you like minimal cases, definitely I can recommend this case. And I think, yes, the hefty price tag, but the quality and the finishing and the materials that are used in this case is definitely worthwhile. So I've actually partnered with Pitaka Official Store Malaysia for this video. And there is actually a discount voucher 
for those people who want to purchase any Pitaka products from the official store. So all you guys need to do is just subscribe to this channel and DM me on Instagram at DragTechReviews and I'll give you the steps on how to redeem the voucher. So I hope you guys like this video. Thanks guys for watching. And uh, if you do want to see more Pitaka products, definitely do hit me up in the comments as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.